Hey girls, it's Monday. I've been in California all week and it is very cold in Seattle. <laughs> So when we started this channel back in 2008, 2008? Wow, that was a long time ago. Well, when we started this channel, one of the biggest sort of elements of us all having a channel together was that we all became friends because of Harry Potter. And we sort of paraded around as the Harry Potter girls, I guess. Um, and we don't really talk about Harry Potter that much anymore, because even though it's still a huge part of all of our lives, there's just a lot of other stuff going on, and there isn't that much to say about Harry Potter week after week. But because... The first half of the seventh movie is coming out this week. We decided to make <coughs> it Harry Potter week, um, Deathly Hallows week to be specific about it. Um, and we're just going to talk about um, memories about the seventh book coming out, expectations and hopes and fears for the movie, and just sort of have like a Harry Potter week here. Um, because obviously Harry Potter still means a ton to all of us. Um, I am very excited about the movie. It kind of snuck up on me. I actually had planned on rereading the seventh book before it came out, but because of Rockstock and Fall Tour and NaNoWriMo especially, I haven't had time. So it's actually been a really long time since I've read the seventh book, which now I've resigned myself to actually thinking that that might be kind of cool. Um, it might be kind of um, like surprising to go see the movie and see what parts I forgot and everything and then I'll probably reread the seventh book in December after I've seen the movie and compare and stuff that way. Um, it's amazing because when the seventh book came out we all went through this sort of rush of emotions because we were all afraid that Harry Potter was going to be over and all of that stuff and you know we all we all lived through that we all survived that and we're all still friends and Harry Potter's still hugely important to so many people in this fandom, but with the movies coming to an end, I don't know, like I feel like, I feel like since we've been through this before it shouldn't freak us out, but I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm really, really glad that this weekend is the first half and not the second half. I'm probably going to be a much bigger wreck when the second half is coming out, just because, I, I don't know, like Harry Potter has been with me for the last 10 years. It's impacted so much of what I do. It's impacted me as a writer, as a musician, as an entertainer just what I do for my job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be on YouTube probably if it wasn't for Harry Potter. Um, and so like knowing that that is kind of coming to an end is kind of scary for me, even though I know like obviously Harry Potter is always still going to be around in our hearts and all that stuff. Um, super cheesy video I'm making today. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So the movie, I, <sighs> I know a lot of people really hate the movies, and even though there's, I, I mean, I watched them. This weekend was actually ABC Family Harry Potter Marathon weekend, and I was, I'm still kind of sick, so um, I was watching it. I watched the fourth movie and the fifth movie last night, and I'm just sitting there complaining, like, oh, I hate this part. Oh, why do they do this like that? Oh, why is her hair like that? Um, but I, I really like them, because even though there's a lot of stuff wrong, I really like that there are even though Harry Potter is a huge franchise, and obviously it's really big, um, it's really important to me personally, and I love that other people liked these books enough to make them into something as big as this movie franchise. So even though, even though the movies aren't my particular vision of Harry Potter, I think it's fun to see someone else's vision of Harry Potter, even if they got stuff wrong. So I really enjoy seeing the movies. Um, I think it's a lot of fun, and they do, like, I get really worked up emotionally seeing all these characters on the screen and seeing Hogwarts come to life and all that stuff, and the seventh book is so different than the other ones that it's going to be really interesting to see it in movie form. Um, one of the things that we were going to say this week was where we all thought that the split was going to be, because we don't know um, where they're cutting the two movies in half. I, I don't really know. I think a good place for them to split them would be someplace at the whole scene with Malfoy Manor. Um, because I think that they need like a good cliffhanger, but not like the biggest climax, because obviously they want to save the biggest climax um, for the second movie. So I don't know. I think it's going to have something to do with the whole Malfoy Manor thing. And actually, like, I remember when the seventh book came out that there was a lot of rumors that Hermione was going to die. And there's like that part where you're not sure what's going on and they're like being transported. And I definitely in that part thought that Hermione was going to die because I was spoiled wrongly. Um, so that was just like a part that really stuck out to me. So I think that will probably be where they split it, but I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, uh, I'm really, really excited about Harry Potter and seeing the movie, and I've already got my tickets for the midnight showing. I'm probably going to be a dork and wear my robes and my Slytherin sweater and all that stuff for the movie because we're running out of opportunities to wear that stuff to releases. Um, I, 
just wanted to say thank you to the people who've been watching our channel from the beginning, and especially like the Harry Potter fans, because obviously this fandom is so important to the five of us, and it's really been fun to connect with you guys these last three years in this way with Five Awesome Girls. Um, on that note, we uh, have talked a lot about selling a Five Awesome Girls t-shirt, and that is finally a reality. So if you go to dftba.com slash something, I'm going to put a link here. If you go to dftba.com, you can get this awesome Five Awesome Girls t-shirt. They've been doing this um, uh, series of shirts. There was a Sons of Adam Rolls one and a Vlogbrothers one. Five Awesome Girls is next. So if you go, you can get it, and that'd be really sweet, because then we could all have Five Awesome Girl t-shirts. And, yep. <laughs> uh, anyways, you can go check that out. Uh, let me know if you're excited about Harry Potter, if you're going to see a midnight showing or what. Um, and today is awesome, because I've got this sweet Rockstar hoodie. Check this out. So good, really warm and snuggly for me being sick today. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about Harry Potter and the movie this week. Lauren, I will see you tomorrow.